On the night of July 9th, 1856, a storm raged over the village of Smiljan in Croatia. A flash of lightning announced the birth of a baby boy. The midwife was frightened by the thunder and called him a child of darkness. But the mother saw a different destiny for her son. She said, no, he will be a child of light. This is not a myth. This is the start of the amazing story of Nikola Tesla. Seems like his mother knew that he would grow up to be the greatest genius the world ever witnessed. He was a visionary genius who created wonders in the field of electricity. He not only invented amazing devices that harnessed the power of electromagnetism, but also predicted the future of technology with remarkable accuracy. But why is his story so unclear in history books? What secrets did he take to his grave? And what did the US government do with his estate for a decade after his death? Some people believe that Tesla had discovered the hidden power of the ancient pyramids and that he could harness unlimited energy from the cosmos. They claim that he had built a device that could transmit electricity over long distances without wires and that he had plans to create a global wireless network. But did Tesla really find the key to free energy? Or was he a victim of a conspiracy to suppress his inventions? And what happened to his papers and experiments that could have changed the world? These are some of the questions that still haunt the legacy of one of the most brilliant minds in history. Hey, this is Theos, and you are watching The Cosmological Reality, where we unravel the inner workings of the universe piece by piece. Imagine a world where you can connect with anyone, anywhere, anytime. A world where you can see and hear your loved ones, even if they are thousands of miles away. A world where you can access a vast amount of information and entertainment with a simple touch. A world where you can carry a powerful device in your pocket that can do all these things and more. Sounds familiar, right? Well, that's because you are living in that world right now. Thanks to smartphones, we can enjoy all these benefits and conveniences in our daily lives. Smartphones have become an essential part of our modern society, allowing us to communicate, learn, create, and have fun in ways that were unimaginable before. But what if we told you that someone had predicted this world almost a century ago, and that someone was none other than Nikola Tesla, the brilliant inventor who gave us alternating current, radio, wireless power, and many other innovations. In 1926, Tesla described a device that sounds remarkably like our smartphones. He said, when wireless is perfectly applied, the whole earth will be converted into a huge brain, which in fact it is, all things being particles of a real and rhythmic whole. We shall be able to communicate with one another instantly, irrespective of distance. Not only this, but through television and telephony, we shall see and hear one another as perfectly as though we were face to face, despite the intervening distances of thousands of miles, and the instruments through which we shall be able to do this will be amazingly simple compared with our present telephone. A man will be able to carry one in his vest pocket. Isn't that amazing? Tesla foresaw the rise of wireless communication, the internet, television, telephony and smartphones long before they became a reality. He had a vision of a world where people could share their thoughts and experiences across the globe. Using devices that were simple and portable, he was truly ahead of his time. So the next time you use your smartphone, remember that you are holding a piece of Tesla's legacy in your hand. You are living in the world that he dreamed of. And maybe, just maybe, you are also inspired by his genius to create something new and wonderful for the future. Tesla's vision was not limited to smartphones. He also dreamed of something that is still a challenge for us today. Imagine a car that can do things by itself without you having to worry about anything. A car that can steer, brake, accelerate and park on its own. A car that can sense the traffic, the weather and the road conditions. 
a car that can take you wherever you want while you relax and enjoy the ride. Sounds like a futuristic fantasy, right? Well, not for Nikola Tesla, the genius inventor who dreamed of such a car way back in 1898. Tesla had a vision of a self-driving car more than 120 years ago, long before anyone else even thought of it. He even patented a device that could control a vehicle remotely using radio waves. But why don't we see self-driving cars everywhere today? What's stopping them from becoming a reality? Well, it turns out that making a car drive itself is not as easy as it sounds. It requires a lot of advanced technology, such as sensors, cameras, radar, lidar, artificial intelligence, and machine learning. It also requires a lot of testing, regulation, and safety standards. However, there is one company that is working hard to make Tesla's dream come true. And guess what? It's named after him. Tesla Motors, founded by Elon Musk in 2003, is one of the leading innovators in the field of self-driving cars. They have developed a system called Autopilot, which can perform some of the driving tasks for the driver. They have also created a network of superchargers, which can recharge their electric cars in minutes, and they have a goal of achieving full self-driving capability by 2025. So, while it took a long time, it seems that self-driving cars are finally becoming a reality, just as Tesla had envisioned. Maybe someday soon, you will be able to hop into a Tesla car and say, take me to my destination, and then sit back and enjoy the show. What if you could power your home's cars and gadgets with clean and free energy? Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, not for Nikola Tesla. He believed that we could tap into the abundant energy that surrounds us in nature, such as the sun, the wind, and even the water. He had a bold vision of creating a global system of wireless transmission of electricity that would benefit everyone on the planet. One of Tesla's most fascinating ideas was to use water as a source of cheap and renewable energy. He claimed that he could split water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen using high-frequency currents and then use them to generate electricity. This would be a game-changer for the world, as water is much more accessible and affordable than fossil fuels, which are harmful to the environment and expensive to extract. Sadly, Tesla's dream was never realized, as his investors did not share his enthusiasm and withdrew their funding, but what if they had supported him? How different would our world be today? Did you know that Nikola Tesla was the first person to invent remote control? Yes, you heard that right. Let me tell you a story about one of them. It was the year 1898, and Tesla was at an event in New York's Madison Square Garden. He had a surprise for the audience. He brought a boat with him, but not just any boat. This boat had antennas and lights, and it could move without anyone touching it. Tesla controlled the boat from a distance, using a device that sent radio waves to the boat. He made the boat turn left and right, go forward and backward, and even flash its lights. It was like he had a magic wand in his hand. The people who saw this were stunned. They couldn't believe their eyes. Some thought it was a trick and some even accused Tesla of hiding a monkey inside the boat. But it was no trick, and there was no monkey. It was pure science and engineering. Tesla had created the first remote-controlled device in history, but Tesla didn't stop there. He had bigger plans for his invention. He imagined using remote control for all kinds of things, like cars, planes, robots, and even weapons. He wanted to make the world more convenient and safer with his technology. And guess what? He succeeded. Today, we use remote control for so many things, like toys, TVs, drones, and missiles. We can control things from far away, without any wires or cables. We can have fun and explore new places with remote control. We can also protect ourselves and our allies with remote control. 
Tesla's remote control boat was more than just a cool gadget. It was a revolutionary idea that shaped our modern world. It was a glimpse into the future that Tesla saw in his mind. And we are lucky to live in that future today. One of the things Tesla worked on throughout his entire life was sending energy wirelessly over long distances. He thought this could totally change how we make and use energy. Interestingly, even today we're still figuring out how to fully grasp and make use of this concept. Here's how he explained the concept in a 1926 interview with Collier's magazine. In the future, when we use wireless technology to transmit power on a large scale, it will change how we move and send things. We've already managed to send motion pictures wirelessly, but right now it's only over short distances. In a few years though, we'll be able to do this over vast distances. Just think, pictures used to be sent using wires and they were successfully telegraphed using a point system 30 years ago. But when wireless power transmission becomes widespread, these old methods will seem as basic as steam locomotives compared to electric trains. Nikola Tesla was a visionary who dreamed of creating a power generator that could send energy wirelessly to anyone, anywhere. He wanted to make the world a better place with his invention, but his dream was cut short by a tragic event that destroyed his masterpiece. Tesla's power generator was called the Tower of Power, or the Wardenclyffe Tower. It was a huge structure that stood in Shoreham, Long Island, New York. It was 187 feet tall, with a Giants ferry on top that measured 68 feet across. It looked like something out of a science fiction movie. Tesla built it in 1904, with the help of his investors and supporters. The Tower of Power was designed to produce and transmit electricity, using the Earth's natural vibrations. Tesla used a special combination of metal parts, some stationary and some rotating, to create high-frequency currents. He then used his famous alternating system to send these currents through the air and the ground, without any wires or cables. He also thought that he could use direct current if he could solve the problem of insulating the transmission lines. Tesla's goal was to provide free and clean energy to everyone in the world. He believed that this would solve many of the challenges that humanity faced, such as poverty, disease and war. He had already proven his genius by harnessing the power of water to generate 30 million horsepower of electricity. He also knew that there were many projects around the world that aimed to increase this amount. But he also knew that water power alone was not enough to meet the growing demand for energy. He hoped that his tower of power would be the ultimate solution. But sadly, Tesla's dream never came true. Tesla was a genius who thought of things that we take for granted today, like smartphones, self-driving cars, wireless energy and electric planes. He was a pioneer who inspired many other inventors and innovators. He was a dreamer who dared to imagine what the future could be like. And we are lucky to live in that future today.